always go go over the black the, the most obvious black and white thing in front of you first you know so if someone's coming in with mm. a shoulder injury address what the you know find out what's causing the injury what what is the injury itself what's causing yep. that what's driving that all the global factors so you know how much volume train training volume do they have how much kind of work volume do they have is there a manual labor or something what's going on biomechanically uh what needs to be strengthened you know scaffolding humoral rhythm scaffolding mechanic stability all the kind of stuff we masturbate over on the internet at the moment all that kind of stuff yeah go with that because it's, it's probably going to be if not all at least most of the solution yeah but if the the issue keeps keeps it's, it's getting better but it keeps persisting yeah then we got to look at, at some other things too so for example what is you know what, what is what is when we're, if someone's in a state of stress that's going to drive you know a lot of say upper trap tension so when people are chronically stressed yeah underslept and all the rest of it often that causes or, or can drive trap neck shoulder issues as well yeah and then you get someone say in the bench press who's really stressed there's a really really tight through the uh, through the upper traps that's a go-to part of that kind of stress response and then they find it hard to get uh find it difficult to sort of move into proper scapular retraction for example so then they start losing position and over time they start beating up the shoulder so yeah there's a lot of uh, biomechanical uh, you know, strength components to that. I, I get that. I, I coach powerlifting. I, I get it. It's cool. However, if something keeps persisting and you find yourself doing the same kind of either treatment or going through the same um, exercises again and again and people are doing them and it's getting better, but it's not really nailing it, but sometimes we need to look at something else. You know, what's, what's going on? Sometimes it is the uh, what's going on outside of the the injury. Mm. Yeah. What's happening around them?